All right, time to get into WWF Shotgun yeah. Saturday Night, January 11th, 1997. Of course, the World Wrestling Federation for over 50 years, the revolutionary force of Poison Entertainment. Of course. Well, before we get to that, James, we have to talk about Sorry. what was going around in the world of wrestling at the time, and there actually wasn't. 97 wasn't a hot <laughs> time You're in wrestling not, at it's all. Not hot. Shit. You weren't watching the competition, brother. Bro, brother. nobody was watching wrestling in 1997. Was, what was going on? The NWO? The, it was the peak of WCW. The American Males. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, see, you remember now. And what do you call that, I buddy? The, yes, of course I remember the group. Yeah, there you go. And there was still two people Man, in it. Get Mandela. <laughs> so anyway, the January 6, 97 Observer. Uh, and WCW News here. From all accounts, I've never heard of this before, so I don't know. I just thought this, I needed to yeah, bring it's this the frame up. Meister. From, from all... <laughs> No, the frame meister is not no, here. Dude. From all accounts, Tony, the frame meister is not going to work, bro. He's yeah, just not going to work. Shut up. Just go <laughs> from all the, counts, tell the, me. Tell me what's happening. From all accounts, Tony, the deal to bring in Bam Bam Bigelow to WCW fell through as Bigelow turned it down. They wanted him in the NWO, and one of the main reasons he left the WWF in the first place was because he was mad about the amount of power Kevin Nash and the company had. Uh, Tatanka is a question mark. So I don't know if that means Tatanka is also being considered for the NWO, but I don't remember any, I don't remember hearing Bam Bam being an NWO guy. Why wouldn't he? That, everybody else is in it. Uh, well, fuck Kevin Nash, that's what you said. Yeah, just he everybody said, else is in it. Kid. I'm pretty sure no one in the NWO like Kevin Nash either, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bam Bam doesn't come in for like a couple more years, right? Does he come in 98 or 99, WCW? Um, I don't remember. I want to say, I want to say 99, but maybe it was 98. Yeah, maybe it was late 98, yeah, yeah. Okay. after ECW didn't pay him, shockingly. Wow. <laughs> uh, WWF News from the Weekend Superstar Show. It appears that Vic Venom did get heat about saying Bret Hart would win the Rumble so assure, uh, assuredly uh, the previous week since Bret is scheduled to win. <laughs> <laughs> how you fucking uh, say that shit? Knows. <laughs> it's weird how he knows. Yeah, how do you know that shit? Uh, he came back and kind of backed off saying you never know for sure who could win the Rumble. Uh, JR also called Barry Windham Stalker gimmick another lame marketing idea and mention how Farouk's original headgear gimmick will go into the WWF Marketing Hall of Fame with a gobbledy googer. So JR is a very angry JR man. JR has a lot to say. <laughs> <In 1990s. laughs> I think JR's always been angry. I think it is. That's all. I mean, listen, man. JR's seen this a lot and he's had enough back then and now. <laughs> he's had enough in 97. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, from the Observer January 13th, 1997, uh, the debut of Shotgun Saturday Night, which we also have reviewed Viewed on this podcast, uh, it is. Is that the uh, one with Masquerita Sagrada? Yes, it is. Oh. It is what I refer to as the most underrated episode of Deadlock ever because I don't think anybody listens to it. <laughs> oh yeah, bummer about that. <laughs> it's a legendary show. Everybody if you have not listened to it, you are missing out. You need to go and fucking listen to that, and then listen to this one because this is the follow up to it. Uh, debut of Shotgun Saturday Night on January 4th was largely a flop, content and reaction-wise. The show didn't air in this market, but the reaction was 100% negative by those who called and faxed, and strongly negative for that matter. I can't imagine going out of my way to fax into something and say this shit fucking <laughs> sucks. You had to have really fucking hated something <laughs> wow. to fucking go out of your way for that shit. Hating was, was crazy awesome. back then. Oh, you had to like, like I, yeah, I dialed your effort, ass, your mind. Effort, <laughs> yeah. I, I fucking put a paper into this fucking thing, dialed it, and waited for it to send to your bitch ass because I wanted you to know how much <laughs> I didn't even, like you. You couldn't your even shit. get numbers off that. Like you couldn't even get numbers. No the way. only person that saw the hate was you and the person you were sending it to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was no. no you weren't trying to gain yeah. anything from it. Yeah, you're right. Now it's completely changed. Now, yeah, you, now you do it for the numbers. Back then, back in my day. We used to Hayden fax it. We were clicking numbers and sending hate. That's Hell all we did. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> yeah. If you can believe it, we breeded hate. Hate breed. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the first show was from the Mirage, a New York nightclub, and drew 350 fans and a $6,000 house. Uh, they talk. They had talked about getting a three thousand capacity for the show, but they only got three hundred and fifty fans, uh, and they charged Wait, twenty dollars to get thousand. They wanted three thousand, and they got three hundred. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking That's unreal. <laughs> They charged twenty dollars to get in the door for a risque com uh, comedic show that wasn't funny, according to the reports received. Uh, with all the hype nationally over the week before the show about the debuting taping at the Mirage, the kind of that kind of turnout was pathetic. <laughs> Next is this week, for this show that we're watching? This is the first show. This is the first. Oh, one. okay. Yeah, yeah. That card uh, sucks. Why do they want three? How are they going to get three thousand people in '97 when WCW is smacking their ass? 
Well, come on, come on, we got Sonny. You've yeah, lost yeah. your mind, old man. <laughs> Keep that in mind that this is like, I don't know if this is all Vince's idea, but he seemed gung ho on this whole fucking concept of Shotgun Saturday Night, and we'll get into it on this show here. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this is mostly about the first show, but we're we're gonna get some second show stuff here too. Uh, next week at the All Star Cafe, which is the show we're about to review, the show is going to be free admission, and because it's in a theme restaurant as opposed to a bar, the show will be less risque. Which is wait, fr- this was but- free. The one that we watched on this show Holy. was a free attended show. Yes. Wow. Uh, the live wire format changed again this week. Jim Ross was on with Vic Venom. The newsworthiness was the last fifteen minutes they didn't uh, where they didn't screen the calls. Uh, so they said, <laughs> and it was obvious they were telling the truth since most of the calls were about WCW. I do remember. Jim that. Ross was very negative toward WCW, saying he fell asleep during the Hogan Piper match and said that Hall and Nash maybe should attend a WWF pay per view show because they haven't been near a good pay per view show since they left the company. <laughs> <laughs> when, asked awesome. him, when asked about signing Randy Savage, Jim Ross said that the WWF was interested in recruiting younger athletes and that they weren't looking for Jim Ross's age of wrestlers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's, he is spin. fucking awesome. Fuck you, fucking Randy Savage, you old shack of now, shit. Now, come on a minute. Now, Randy Savage now, is a different say? kind of shark. All oh, right. Macho man. Why don't you fucking munch on these Jim Ross nuts? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> okay, the pipe putting him to sleep is awesome. This match fucking sucks, brother. <laughs> that's crazy because they were working. You th- oh, that's probably when the workers put, worked. Yeah, that they were Piper would probably put on You're the Piper right. sleeper. <laughs> what else would he have done? <laughs> Punched him. <laughs> Punch him. <laughs> Backdrop. Did a promo. Yeah. <laughs> he talked him into the building, brother. That's what they had to do back then. Fuck was, you, man. Was that the one where he came in off the boat out of prison? Uh in ninety seven? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Where he was like speaking like Gaelic or whatever. Is dude, just, yeah. dude, that was <laughs> before the match. Like, yeah, he came to yeah, the yes. match from prison <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> And then punched him and then put him in a sleeper. All right. And that's awesome. And at the end of the show, uh, there was cr- rolling credits. <laughs> that's all you need. That's what the workers work, dude. Yeah, that was crazy. From the January 20th, uh, 97 Observer, uh, in ECW news, the BWO t-shirt sales are now accounting for more than 40% of total merchandise, and ECW does amazing per-head merchandise business to begin with. Wow. I didn't realize the BWO was rocking like that. The, the BWO? <laughs> BW, 40% BWO shirts. People love were, it. What about the red variant? The red variant <laughs> of the BWO shirt. I don't think showed up until 2000. That's insane. <laughs> the, the red variant of the BWO shirt is unbelievable. Taz was actually. cooking with that one. He said, oh, man, red. Here is uh, some interesting WCW news here. Uh, so I guess around this time, uh, Scott Hall and Jerry Sags got into a fight. Oh, we, no, not say. Remember anything like this? Here? Well, now that is the end of the company. Yeah, well, <laughs> so uh, I guess they got into a fight. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it started by, like, Nash and Hall doing a run-in and fucking just annihilating the Nasty Boys with chairs. That sounds about right. And fucking killing Jerry Sags with a chair, and then they fucking had a fight in the back about it. Uh, and then there was a second incident between the two where Sags and Hall... Uh, fought, and that led to the Nasty Boys leaving WCW, which I believe is what happens w. here. So, uh, so <laughs> there was no says, <laughs> <laughs> the Wildsiders. <laughs> Last boys. Here, there was, there was <laughs> <laughs> it says there was no dis- uh, disciplinary action taken in the deal with Scott Hall and Jerry Sags from uh, Shreveport. Hall had one tooth knocked out, two teeth loosened, a black eye, and we also heard a report of a broken eardrum. He had oral surgery and wasn't expected to return at Nitro this week, but that was there and actually on camera looked to have healed pretty well. Depending on uh, depending upon company politics in that the Nasty Boys are in the Hogan camp, but Hall and Nash have their friends as well. Kind of says which sides the wrestlers shaded in the story of the incident. Those defending stags blame Hall for throwing the chair at a guy who had a concussion, and which I thought was you know a lot of, a lot of chair throwing going on oh, these wow. days. Really. 
Uh, and uh, those defending Hall say Sags was totally unprofessional and should have been fired, which also has been seemingly happening a lot here. Uh, as the story goes, Nash, after the match, went with a baseball bat and confronted them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but incredible. nothing but words were thrown. The story then goes that Bischoff would have fired Sags, but Hall felt that Hogan would hold a grudge against them for it and get them back at some point if they were responsible for his friend getting fired. The incident was headed on the 113 Nitro, which almost makes me think they are going to try and turn it into an angle. Uh, and... It, Maybe because this is Bischoff, it was an angle to start with, although I'm of the belief the latter probably isn't the case. So they had a fight, and then Kevin Nash said, I'm going to fucking handle this with a fucking baseball bat. That's awesome. And that's how the workers were working back Let's then, go. man. That's how they did it, man. See, what back in the day, we just separated the locker room, and if you came within 10 feet, we'd kill you. <laughs> that's, just, that's just how we were doing it back then. I'm just saying. It's weird. Nobody uh, wanted lastly, to side with the nasty boys. That's weird. Damn, you better not fucking my friend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the whole locker room's over dude, here with the outsiders. Hogan's, yeah. Hogan's got the craziest fucking rogue gallery of friends of all dude, time. Jimmy Hart, What's Jerry wrong with Sags, this, dude? Brian Nobbs. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Beefcake Horace was, Hogan, yeah. his family member. <laughs> what the hell, Mike Austin's family member, too. Ain't nobody fucking with my <laughs> click, dude. <laughs> Bub, you're my the click. love sponge. Click. 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 <laughs> But let me fuck your wife, son. brother. <laughs> These are my fucking dudes. They would ride or die for me and let me fuck their wives. Dude. I feel like a fucking pig, dude. <laughs> I feel like I was on a roller coaster, brother. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes are riding with, with you, brother. I'm suing you, brother. These dudes are riding with me and their wives are riding me, too, brother. And their brothers, too. <laughs> this dude, Dr. Pepper, rides with me. <laughs> He has his own doctor in his crew, Dr. too. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Thunder, Pepper. Bubby you the Love Sponge, the Lasty Lloyds. Who's hanging out with this dude? The American Males were also hanging out with them, too. No way. The American, the American, males, American males had four bats on the other side of the room. You came anywhere near them, they kill Hulk Hogan. Four bats on the other side of the room. Yeah, well, the American Males share a bank account with their mothers. What do you think of that? <laughs> yes. Buff Bagwell's mother, to be specific. Yeah, you tell him. It was also the American Bagwell. Males. <laughs> Judy Bagwell is not the American Bells. Yes, she is. She is Why the would American Bell. Uh, lastly, here in WWF news, the second Shotgun Saturday Night Show got mixed reports, although mostly were negative. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Some were positive, saying the only improvement was the lighting. Uh, the show was from the All Star Cafe with free admission. I've heard various reports of the crowd, but one person there live said the number of people there for the wrestling was only about 150, and the rest of the people were there uh, that had just happened to be there and casually watch wrestling while eating. <laughs> so Vince they just McMahon. went to the cafe. Vince McMahon got a personal <laughs> fax from Paul Heyman that just said, L. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Stinky winky, bad show. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Get a whole ass piece of paper. Hey, and fax him and said, "Stop trying to kill our territory." <laughs> he just fax a picture of his butt or something. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> Dude, how, how is Shotgun Saturday Night even a good idea? It was like, we're going to run a show where we can't draw any fans that want to pay, and we're going to syndicate this show on local New York market. That's a great concept. Good idea. Tony, by the, by the time we're done this review, everyone is going to believe that Shotgun Saturday Night should have survived. <laughs> I was talking this to Giant for The idea for this show is not bad. Like, uh, the idea of like a quick hour fucking... Shot adult show or show, whatever, yeah, yeah. Adult, yeah. but yeah, show, like yeah. this is like an adult show in like a Vince McMahon world. This isn't like a regular adult <laughs> right. show. This is like a, <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> the, <laughs> whatever Vince. This is, is what Vince McMahon thinks that adults want to watch. <laughs> yeah, he said that we're rocking his adult style over here. Ah, look at that shit. Oh, shit is we hot. got mother <laughs> schmuck. <laughs> yeah, get out here and everybody wants to fuck Sonny, don't you? Ah. That's insane. Let's talk about it. All right. All right, so we start with the cold open here. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man is... He's harassing. The revolutionary force <laughs> in sports entertainment. You gotta get that in there. I we did. I said that when we first started. The revolutionary Say it again. Force. No Say way. It again. Sports the revolutionary force for over 400 years. <laughs> I like the okay. Matt Menard version. The revolutionary force in sports and entertainment. <laughs> for over 50 years. It's in the last couple of years, we get our ass stomped. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're forcing you to watch this shit, bitch. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man is harassing people in a hotel lobby. <laughs> what is wrong? Is, is it a hotel lobby? This or is, is it a, a, 
a haircut place. This is where you get your haircut and your shoe shined all in the same haircut day. place. <laughs> but it is a it is also a hotel. Yeah, well, there's a guy getting his shoe shined. He doesn't want to fucking talk to the honky tonk man. And, he read uh, a newspaper. He Leave is me alone. harassing the fuck out of him. Yeah, he says, when the Honky Tonk Man is in New York City, I hang out with the stars at the St. Regis Hotel, the best haircuts in the world. What? Get the fuck out of here, man. You get your shoes shined, but when you wear blue suede shoes like me, you don't have to worry. And he looks at the guy shining the other guy's shoes, and he says, that's some ugly ass shoes you have. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo, fuck <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> We should have jumped the honky tonk man. That's what I should have done. <laughs> I thought they were going to have the guy like pull down a newspaper and it would be like, you know, a wrestler and then have a match. No, it was just some dude getting no, his that's shoes the roadie. shined. That's the roadie, bro. I don't think dude, so, man. There were some major differences between that's the man and the roadie, roadie, I have to say. Vince thought the honky tonk man was the greatest gimmick of all time. Like He was really rocking. He said, this, this is, is the guy right here. Dude, the this adultman. is 1997. Honky Tonk that Adultman. Honky Tonk Man hasn't been IC champion for 10 years here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, he is doing nothing here. And the show is centered around the fucking Honky Tonk Man doing a damn live performance. Get out of our <laughs> company! <laughs> Did you ever hear the story about Eric Bischoff and how he loved firing the Honky Tonk Man? Oh my god, no, but I want to hear it. He says it comes back to the only guy I ever really enjoyed firing. I mean, it put a smile on my face. In this moment when you ask me that question, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting a smile from ear to ear because I had to fire the Honky Tonk Man. I would fire the Honky Tonk Man every single day of every single year for the rest of my life, and I would get just as much joy. Holy <laughs> fuck, man, that's a hater. That's, that's that a hater. is a hater. And I know he, he didn't even FedEx he that. He, he shit didn't, no, he didn't no, FedEx no, no, a he hand delivery. He showed up at his door. He Get not know his door. <laughs> Subpoena style. Big ass <laughs> smile on his face. Fuck you, Honky Tonk Man. You. You're a bit. Stupid blue suede <laughs> shoes, dumbass. Yeah, shove them up your ass, you freak. Uh, so Mark Mara is also here in a limo. Ah! <laughs> Why is Mero. Vince is going crazy Save already? Save him. Ah. Save him. Mark, Mark Mara. Right here on Shotgun Saturday. Ah. So is this live for a shoot or what? No. Okay, so why the fuck, you know, we'll talk about <laughs> later, but holy schmoly, man. Unbelievable. Unless it is, but I don't think it is. I, You know, I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know. It's probably live uh, to tape, you know? That's what I think, probably. That's what every show. No. Every show is never, live to tape. Never. God damn it. Well, the memo is sent stuff. out fact style for this show. So how many times can we cut and zoom and blur all the footage so no Everything. one can see what's going on? I do like the intro to the show, though. Very, I feel like it was very appropriate for the show. Just yeah, a lot of good. zooming and like, none of the angles. dudes in the intro were on the show. It's just Savio oh. Vega and the Honky Tonk Man. Shawn Michaels is not on the show. <laughs> what about what are you talking about? Our gold dust drinking at the bar yeah, and then Undertaker the coming up from a sewer. Undertaker as the and HBK <laughs> are not here. <laughs> and Bob Backlund's talking to the cab drivers. You know, it's this is yeah, crazy. come on, man. We didn't even follow up on any of that. Where is Masquerade Sagrada? He was with the ladies. He's you know where he is. He's with the ladies. He didn't bring him back to the bar or nothing? No. Well, you He know, said, I am not got... bringing the hose around the honky top man. No way, it's man. It's not he's, happening. He's a weird fucker. You he's are scaring the hose, honky top man. Get out of here. the hose. Yeah, man. So we have uh, Mark Marrow versus Diesel. Who is this man? The hold big on, monster hold Diesel. Hold on. They run down this card. It's Wild yes. Man versus Diesel. Savio Vega versus Farouk. Rocky Maivia versus Razor Ramona. I was like, man, this is kind of cool, actually. I was, and then, I, I, and then Tony, I go, that's what I said. Too. I go, oh, wait, this is 97. <laughs> they were in WCW. <laughs> Dude, it took me even longer than that to realize it, Tony. Because oh. so they run down no, the card. No, I'll tell they you. Show li- <laughs> they, they show live at the All Star Cafe. They're like, this they're is a sports bar. Us. It's not an All Star. It's a sports bar. Let's be real. It's a sports bar. You are correct. It, but it's a cool little spot, honestly. It's not where I think WWF would run, but no it is a cool way, little spot. No they're running Madison Square Garden down the street, but they're at a sports bar right now. Makes sense. So uh, they advertise as Big Wild Man versus Big Monster Diesel. Big Monster <laughs> Diesel. So they they open the show. Sonny's dancing on the announce table. Vince intros. Oh, this is the sexy Sonny. Sonny says, oh, wait till you see my sexy home video. Now, if you recall, the first episode of Shotgun Saturday Night was building to this episode of Shotgun Saturday Night where Sonny was going to get fucked live on TV. We tell stories and- here, pal. 
<laughs> so Sonny we says, oh, movies. I see my home video. And Vince says, ah, well, what do you got to say about that, Todd? Fucking Todd Pettengill is the star of these shows. He is putting his whole dick and balls Dude, he, into he these. He deserves these. like a million, billion, trillion dollars of all this. Todd Pettengill says, somebody's going to get lucky tonight. Uh, and also, the Sisters of Love were arrested for solicitation. <laughs> In front of the Disney store. <laughs> what the fuck? And then they show it. They show the Sisters of Love, which, uh, if you recall, were the what, Sisters of... What were they? They're the before? Flying Nuns. The Flying, flying nuns. nuns, yes. They were the Flying Nuns, the and they Schmucker. joined Brother Love. Mother and became the Schmucker. Sisters. Mother now that Nobody told Vince, by the way, because he still called them the Flying Nuns, and the Flying <laughs> Nuns were arrested. So he said, that's the Sisters of Love. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> fuck you. Who are you gonna fuck him or not? What are you Tom Pankill says his sisters in love were arrested for solicitation in front of the Disney store by undercover cops. It cuts back and Vincent Man goes, Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> then Mark Mara makes his interest and Vince goes, Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what so, the fuck? At is this point, happening? I am still thrilled. <laughs> I am excited. You get to see Sunny see- and you get to see Sable. Wild Man Mark Marrow is making his entrance, and here goes Mark Marrow and Sable, which they're lost. <laughs> they get lost in the crowd. Here. Some fan like grabs them or something, and then uh, I think yeah. Sonny's like, "People get touchy feely when you're this sexy or something." Like oh, that. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> so, it's not even it's, showing Sable yet. It's just so. Mark Marrow. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> That, ah. That's not an exaggeration, but that is no. That's one hundred percent legit. Wow, man! He legit says, "Ah, yeah." <laughs> Come on out here. So Mark Marrow and Sable struggle to get through this crowd. They get lost and can't get to the yeah, ring. Yeah, nobody paid to get in here. They're all drunk at a sports bar. Come on, they bro. don't give a fuck. No, it's a whoa, it's a wow, man. Ah. And then, then I'm I'm staring at the Bummer. screen, and I see Diesel in the ring, and I said. Well, that's fucking weird. Diesel got a jobber entrance? And then it hit me. <laughs> I said, Dude. oh, it's 1997. Holy fuck. Dude. It's Kane. <laughs> it did not hit me until Diesel did a flying clothesline. <laughs> I said, I said, same way, because I was sitting dude, there, and there, there was so many what? pixels on the screen, Tony, I couldn't yeah, tell. Me too, it was yeah, the pixels. So I, got, like, I was like half-ass paying attention, and like <laughs> I, was thinking, I was writing notes down, writing stuff, yeah, and I'm like, I was like, oh, oh, there's Diesel, oh, that's pretty like, sweet. Steve, they got Diesel here? Rocket? <laughs> Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, there it is the the size Dude, that's fucking unbelievable. There were so many pixels, I thought it was the real diesel. That's true, it is hard yeah, to tell. We were watching I, a real well. mean fucking uh, <laughs> YouTube version of this. Well, that's the, this isn't on Peacock or anything like that. This no. is the only version that exists. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, yeah. yeah. Vin, Vin says, ah, oh, this is a wonderful location. <laughs> And Sonny says, oh, Diesel's looking mighty fine tonight. And Vince says, oh, well, you, are you fucking him in the tape or what are you doing there? You this is sex? all night. Vince is just asking Sonny who she's fucking in this tape. It's like, ah, oh, what about Diesel? Oh, he's, he's very cute. Yeah, you fuck him. Just, ah. just to also, I mean, Vince has seen the video. Vince has seen the video. Vince produced the video. Sonny's seen the video. <laughs> they know what's in the video. And yet they still, you fucking him tonight. <laughs> What? This is also is this an eighteen or a sixteen ring? I think it's I eighteen. Mean, it looked like eighteen. The first it's one not was, a twenty for sure. It's not first, twenty. They would always run the smaller rings. Well, I think yeah. The last one might have been a sixteen, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I think the first small. one was a sixteen. Okay, and this is an eighteen. Okay, uh, yellow ropes here again, once again for shotgun Saturday night. Uh, so yeah, these guys are don't let it be passed by. By the way, Sable is a complete smoke show here. Oh my god, she's unbelievable. Yeah, Sunny she's, looks incredible at this time too, man. Yeah. I mean, she's they both are on fucking real here. Uh, Diesel, uh, <laughs> who I will refer to as only Diesel because that's who they want you to believe in. Is <laughs> Diesel <laughs> goes outside. He's flirting with Sable or Sable on the floor. Everyone, this is 
15 minutes of people coming in and out and trying to fuck Zabel. <laughs> yeah, you, as I was <laughs> like, saying, you heard him is. right. It is a 15 minute fucking match. It's fucking unbelievably long. Uh, so Diesel goes outside to flirt with Sable. Sable hits Diesel in the face with cake, and then the fans start chanting ECW. <laughs> <laughs> ECW. <laughs> they, they have had enough. They came here, they didn't pay shit, and they're going to get everything over but this show. Mid match now, Vince throws to Todd. Pettengel, who is now interviewing Sable at ringside <laughs> during the match. Yeah, he does. Oh, well, we got 15 shit. minutes here tonight, so we're going to take a couple sure. of breaks in between this one. Todd Pettengel asks about Diesel, and Sable says, I didn't like what Diesel was doing, and personally, I think he takes the cake, and Vince says, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Todd, Todd Pettengel asks Sable about Diesel as Diesel is fighting in the ring right now. I don't know, just look at the fucking ring. <laughs> what do you think of this guy? They went picture in picture for this, by the way, so there's a little uh, caution tape or whatever, yellow yes. tape, and then the little thing yes. in the corner, and then the match going on inside. Sonny says that Mark Mara and Sable had to take a limo because Sable would have gotten too many $10 offerings dressed like that. She, she also asked if Sable would be upset if she saw her honey bunny in her home sex video. I am fucking the wild man. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you know you had sex with the doll. <laughs> Ah, but what about the wild man? Ah. Vince also ponders that the flying nuns will get three years like Heidi <laughs> Fleiser. What the fuck, Vince, man? they are the sisters of love, and you know that. <laughs> you booked it. <laughs> you named them that. You fucking put them there. Come on, brother. So Diesel goozles Mark Merrill on the ground. I'm wondering at this point why he's not doing Diesel moves. He's throwing clotheslines. He, 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 he bumps Mark Merrill around. Then he bumps Mark Merrill to the floor. Then fucking Razor Ramon jumps Mark Merrill on the floor. Not, and he's up. Not Scott, not Scott Hall, by the way. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's are Rick sure? Bogner. Of oh, course. there he yes. is. Holy Rick fuck. Bogner. All the stars are here. Rick Bogner comes here. He starts stomping him out. Then Rocky Maivia comes in from outside the building, cutscene style, to make the <laughs> fucking save. He jumps fake Razor, trips over the stairs, and lands fucking head. Ass first on a Mark Mero's head. That's a rocket jabroni, <laughs> dude. Rocket jabroni, oh, dude. Get this little dude out of here. Get this, this little, little jabroni, jabroni out of here. Shotgun, sorry, now you're out of here, dude. <laughs> not on our show. Not on, not on me and fake Diesel and fake Razor show, dude. <laughs> fake Hogan. The, fake Hogan, that's me, Paul Boulder. <laughs> So Rocky fucking comes and makes a save, and then Pat Patterson yells at The Rock as we go to commercial. The Rock's the cheesiest. Fucking, he is the cheesiest cheese. He's baby faced out yes. as, as this, ever you could this imagine. This is like they. This would net. This can't work. This will never work no. in wrestling. They already are turning on him. They had the crowd, Rocky Maivia make saves for every single person on the show. You're he, right. He was fucking saving all the he women. Was the hero. He was the fucking Sue. main event. Fucking, you know yeah. what I mean? Beating his shit out of Razor type shit. This, yeah. this never had a chance, I especially in 97. I don't know what <laughs> no they were way. thinking. They go to a show called Shotgun Saturday Night where it's HBK, you know, dancing in the streets and Undertaker coming out as a gimmick as he had done yeah, yet. Yeah, Goldust is drinking and, and they got, got Masquerade Sagrada dancing. And you got Rocky yeah. Maivia coming out saving. Clean. No way. Yeah. Not happening. They, well, don't worry. They fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I wonder how that came to be. Well, well I mean, when the crowd's chanting "Die, <laughs> Die, Rocky, <laughs> Die," they no, got but I mean, like, with, do you know the story? To? Did he come up with that, or did Vince say what the turn? Yeah, like to the Rock. I, honestly, I think that they did it. Oh. I think they just realized that hey, this is fucking brutal, dude. Like, we gotta fucking figure this out here because this is not this his, is not his whole his out. whole package here sucked. Yeah, it was yeah, terrible. It is. I mean, wrestling, promos, gimmicks. I don't know. He was just not good here. He was just a dude. It's crazy that within a year, he fucking turns it all around. Oh, my God. Because, like, I don't, it might be less than a year that he's in the Nation of Domination. He has, like, this crazy-ass new swag. Or even his, his, like, it's crazy. Like, he came in, like, with this crazy blue outfit. Like, looked different than everybody. And what got him over the most was black trunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. The black trunks were huge for him. Yeah. Black trunk sideburns. That's all you need, brother. Yeah. Dude, the, uh, I was, I, as we were watching this show, you know, we got, uh, like, Savio Vega on this show and the Nation of Domination and all that. It's like, these guys, a lot of fucking shit stemmed. 
Like Savio Vega got Stone Cold over pretty much, and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nation you're of right. Domination pretty much got the Rock where he needed to be. So I yeah, mean, yeah. absolutely, sure, kind of crazy sure, to think sure. About. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, we're in an underground WWF bunker because uh, we have to <laughs> <laughs> we have to learn that WWF is returning to Madison Square Garden at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. They hey, stuck Doc Hendricks in hell to advertise <laughs> this. I told the bombs were coming. Sean, Sean doesn't like Brett. Brett doesn't like Sean. And Psycho Sid doesn't like either of them. Wow. Also on this card, Ahmed Johnson and Salvia Vega against Crush and Farouk. <laughs> All right. Anyways, 1 p.m. Come out or don't. 1 this p.m. Was, is, is crazy. crazy. Undertaker Sid for the WWF title. Sean and Mankind with Paul Bear, Brett and Vader. Stone Cold and Goldust. And not That's a single one sweet. had a finish. No. Oh, <laughs> 1 p.m. 1 p.m. show. No. Oh, no contest. Contest. No, DQ, take it home. I bet you that Bret Hart and Vader match didn't even happen. I have the results here. Sure. Uh, Rocky Maivia defeated Salvatore Sincere. Then Crush and Farouk beat Ahmed Johnson and Savio Vega. Stone Cold beat Goldust. The Godwins beat Bob Holly and Owen Hart. Triple H beat Jake Roberts to retain the IC title. Okay. Bret beat Vader by DQ. Sid beat Taker by countout. And Sean beat Mankind to retain the title. All right. Well, why did Mankind got to take the L like that? Everybody else got the no contest. <laughs> Sean's, not, Sean's beating him, man. Sean is whooping his ass and beating him. He said, we could do a no contest, but I got a better idea to get you real over, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I got okay. you on the flip side. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll bring it back. Anyway, we come back from commercial. This match is still fucking going on here. There's also a guy in the front row who stands on his chair in front of the crowd, blocking people's view for the entire show. <laughs> I didn't pay I don't anything. That shit. Right. Yeah, you're right. I guess he didn't pay for the seat. Anyway, Todd Pettengill's interviewing the Honky Tonk Man now. <laughs> the Honky Tonk Just- Man promises that he will have sex with Sable. Yeah, he said, we're going to do a day. Todd says, we're going to do a duet. And Sable looks pretty good, huh? And Honky Tonk Man says, I can't believe that Sable. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you heard him. <laughs> and Honky Tonk has a tune, especially for her. Love me tender. Huh? And Todd Pengel says, whoa, back to you guys. Oh, and- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyway, Diesel with the flying clothesline. He goes up top and does the, the cane line. Diesel starts climbing to the top rope, and I say, there's no way. That's right. <laughs> there's no way this He's is happening. popping off. Vince says, ah, new move here. I said, no. Ah, yeah. Diesel. Leaps off the top and invents the cane clothesline. <laughs> I could not fucking believe my eyes, dude. Cane clothesline from Fake Diesel. Oh my god, that's the we fucking saw the best origin shit ever. of the cane line. I think. I think yeah, because Vince says it's a new move. I yeah, think it was the right first here. time he did it. Wow, history. That's classic Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or it's Mandela effect. You know, I can't. Uh... That's yeah. I guess maybe once again, right, Diesel man. works harder, baby. Nobody's beating Kevin Nash here. He didn't even do the fucking move, and he still did the fucking move. No one's working smarter than Kevin Nash. He's on even two Diesel, shows at once. What the hell? Fake Diesel can't even lose. That's unbelievable. Diesel's That's on power, two y'all. shows, and he's fucking over on both of them. Like, yo, no one's working like Kevin Nash. <laughs> so Mark Merrow hits the ropes. Diesel hits him with the most fucked up boss man slam, black hole slam Fuck ever. Up. I don't know. You're what going for head fuck? scissor, but Mark Maris yes. says ski. You're right. <laughs> Sorry about Dude, that. I didn't know. I was like, what the fuck was that? Then they run it back. They go for the spot again. Diesel goes for a side slam. Mark Mero turns into a head scissors, and Diesel somehow flip bumps behind Mark Mero and gives himself a bottle driver. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Finally, Mark Mero for 10 minutes of this match got no hope at all. Just heat. heat. Diesel was beaten the fuck fuck out of him. He didn't even fight back once. I bet he was like, damn, that's pretty funny. He's just beating the pro- shit out of this dude. It's probably because Kevin Nash sent him a fax. <laughs> you better make me look good. All bitch. he said on the fax was no hope. He said, damn. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what was going on. So Mark Marrow, Honky Tonk Man is back, <laughs> and he's outside trying to hit on Sable. Never left, man. This guy sucks. All honky while, Tonk Man, dude, he's sucks. a bitch. I hate the Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> this is real heat, brother. This is I'm real to heat. Him. I can't honky wait to fire man. him. Fire him right now. I'm gonna fire him. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm calling an audible to him. Actually, is crazy, man. So Honky Tonk is hitting on Sable on the outside. All the while, Mark Marrow is on the Mark Marrow is on the top rope. 
He jumps up into the air, turns around, <laughs> lands back on the top rope, jumps <laughs> off the top rope backwards, moonsault all the way across the ring, and it is the craziest looking thing hey, in the world I've the ever seen. Assault. That's the marrow assault, brother. It was the coolest thing in the world, and I can't. And then and that's not he the fucking hits that. Doesn't go for a pin and runs outside to confront the honky tonk man. <laughs> God damn hey, it! What are you man? trying to say before? What are you doing? What are you doing, Sable over there? Oh Dude, this my Mark, God. this Mark Merrill Sable thing goes on for like two years after this too. Yeah, you're right. He changes gimmicks completely. And it's still rocking. It's still that's all he's got is fucking Sable. <laughs> I don't blame him. That's real shit. I hear you on that. Fuck. So Mark Merrill goes outside to confront the honky tonk man. Diesel no sells this sweet ass double jump moonsault because Kevin Nash told him to. <laughs> Tell, Learn to work. Does a double X handle off the apron and barely touches Mark Romero and throws him back in the ring. Honky Tonk Man just leaves. Fake Diesel hits jackknife powerbomb and beats Mark Romero. Bro, if I bet I'm- you the same exact shit happened on WCW. <laughs> You're right. I gotta look. Diesel hit the jackknife. <laughs> Bro, if I'm getting beat by a fake version of a wrestler that used to be in the company, I'm packing my bags and I'm getting out of here, man. My career Dude, is over. Well, it's because of Tony, the hockey talk, man. Tony, not only was it getting beat by him, he took 10 minutes of heat, <laughs> got a double jump moonsault, oh. and then got hit with a finisher and fucking lost. Fake diesel It's un- finisher. fucking believable. Holy fuck. That's Nobody's awesome. working smarter. Or harder no way. than the big no. man, Kevin Nash. <laughs> <laughs> two shows, two Dude. wins, over as fuck, the money man, Kevin Nash. What, what day hey, was this hey. show? The 11th? Yes. Let's see. Jubby said we sh- shattered a night in 90s. Shattered a night. <laughs> I gotta see. Dude, I got wait, there's no. You think Kevin Nash was on Saturday night? <laughs> Well, you know, there's no fucking way. There was another fake Kevin Nash on that show. Well, on the January 13th Nitro, Nash cut a promo. Him and Hall are tag champions. (laughs) Of course. Who else would be? (laughs) That's so sick. That's awesome. Sable gets into the ring to check on Mero after the match. Mark Mero is angry. He cannot believe that he lost to the fake Diesel. You got your ass kicked for like 15 minutes, pal. All the while, Sonny is also running down Sable on commentary, saying that it is Sable's fault and that Mark Merrow should be fucking her, and she laughs very loud at her. Anyway, here comes the honky tonk man, and he's dancing in the ring. Dude, the honky tonk <laughs> man gets Get in the ring out of our company and does his fucking taunt. <laughs> he does the honky tonk taunt Not dance. The- Nothing would have made me more happy than if fake Diesel whooped his fucking ass. Dude, why did Sable's he do the on, taunt? Sable's on her knees weeping. Doggy Tonk Man is like, hey, rah, yeah. Just do this fucking shit. If you played with the Doggy Tonk Man in the games and you did that taunt to me, I would quit. I'd disconnect. <laughs> My air went out. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling the police or something, but you're done. <laughs> Um, my dad works for Microsoft. And you're done. Like honky tonk. Was he just? Was he trying to uh, seduce Sable here with his dance moves? No, he's a big dumbass. <laughs> he's an idiot. Get well, out of the big ring. Dumbasses. Get out here of comes... our company. <laughs> Fucking give me more time with Diesel. <laughs> Speaking of him, more a big dumbass. Here comes Rocky Maivia oh, to make the save. What are you doing? This fucking goody two shoes. White EC meat dub. baby face EC coming dub. in. <laughs> die, Rocky, die. So Rocky comes out. Honky Tonk Man powders. Uh, Rocky checks on Sable. Then Mark Mero comes back to the ring and confront Dude, Rocky Maivia. What did the Honky Tonk... <laughs> what did Rocky even make the save for? Honky Tonk Man got the ring. He got the ring. He wasn't even doing nothing. He's got to help Sable, man. He's got to help Sable. So, no, so, Sable, get away from this... Fuck it, be the shit. But then on top of that, why was Mark Merrill upset that Rocky helped her? Because he's jealous. Because it's shotgun Saturday night. Ah, he's, a, he's a jealous boyfriend, of course. So, so they start shoving each other, and then they start brawling. And the referees come out to break them apart, this big hot angle. And then Mark Merrill wow. makes Sable leave angle. with them. Yeah. This is so they leave together. Unbelievable. Yes. Wow. So, so people are still watching this at, at this point, I think. No mm. fucking way. They show us the <laughs> Sisters of Love mug shots or the Flying Nuns, yeah. whatever Vince wants to say. The f- Sisters of Love, goddammit. 
Yeah, whatever. This I don't understand what I'm supposed to be looking at here. <laughs> I just does it all right. Vince says they will not be here. He <laughs> lets you know. Oh, laugh. Laugh. Oh, they laugh at not, this. <laughs> they're not gonna be but here. But then he does say uh, he does say we'll well, we will have tag team action with the headbangers later. I was like, huh? Yeah. So that's the the angle is that they are completely different people. Mm. The angle is is that they are completely pathetic. <laughs> they do not care. And so are you, the Hockey Talk Man. Get the fuck out of our company. <laughs> Fucking hell. Savia Vega versus Farouk is up next. Don't worry about that. Here comes JC Ice and Wolfie D doing a live performance we of the Nation the theme, nation baby. Of domination. Hell yeah. PG 13 style. They're rocking here. The Nation of Domination come out with Farouk. They're all in suits. Farouk is looking gigantic. And as they're making their entrance, Vince says, and also tonight, sunny, sexy home video. Dude, <laughs> fuck this match. The sexy home video is coming up soon, boys. Don't worry about Farouk. How about Sonny getting her shit blown out? Yeah. Dude, Shotgun before the match style. starts, we, we get the WWF tour. And it yeah. shows the schedule, and it's like a week from today, two weeks from the day, next week after the day. It's just, uh, it's just the shows are like January 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Why do you just say for the whole week, we are here going here? <laughs> Every day. A week from the day, rocking. a day from the week. What the fuck? Schedule back then was crazy, and they were working on that concrete ring. Like, oh, that's, that oh, shit-ass ring, dude. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's nuts. Fucking hell. Anyways, we come back from commercial. We're in a chin lock. EC Dub. EC Dub. EC Dub chants in the chin lock, and he's Farouk is using the bottom rope for leverage. I am over this shit already. <laughs> Fucking hell. Also, do you have any recollection of Sonny managing the Nation of Domination? Because that's what they talk about here. I fucking don't remember that at all. No, that must have been real early on, right? Yeah, like. I guess Sonny what managed fuck? Farouk. Is that how that worked? I don't know. I'm not a real big was... uh, 95. WWF guy, I assume that's when that happened. Was it Farouk? Okay, maybe it was just Farouk. Oh, she was managing Farouk in the debut, in Farouk's debut in the blue. When was gimmick. that? What year? When he was with the oh, what his fucking shitty ass fucking Which head here with that thing. I don't know when that when it was that shit ass. I don't know when that was. Yeah, I hear you on that. Anyways, it was ninety five. I think it was. Oh here. wow, I knew it. Yeah, I would have been ninety five WWF guy. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Todd Pettingills with my boy William from Westchester. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he said, who do you think's going to have sex with Sonny tonight? <laughs> William said, it should have been me. <laughs> he said, so they fought. Hold on. Just before we get to that, by the way, Sonny says, oh, I'm glad Clarence Mason is here. He is a strong, he is a strong proponent of uh, Ebonics. How about you, Vince? And Vince says, I don't think I agree with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vince is getting all political out here. I don't agree what with that. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? And this is where Vince says, ah, you might want to get your VCRs out because the conclusion of this matchup, Sonny's home sex video. Let's go to Todd Pettengill. And Todd says, I got my VCR Plus all program, Vince. <laughs> VCR Plus? <laughs> VCR Plus. You can put a timer on the thing. You remember that thing? Oh, this man, VCR get Plus? that, man. That technology is crazy. He's got that Vince getting, McMahon, WWF yeah, money, getting, Todd Pengill, VCR yeah, Plus. Yeah, he's getting paid. So Todd says, hey, buddy, what's your name? And the guy says, William. My name's and William. Todd, Todd says, who do you think is going to be making love with Sunday night? And William says, well, look at her. I think it'll be the $6 million man. Steve Austin? What? Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that's I know, awesome. I don't know what. I mean, I knew that, but like, what? And then he says, but I wish it was me. And Todd goes, yeah. Dude, William rips his fucking head off. It should have been me. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, Vince says, well, we're going to have to wait and see. It's Farouk, isn't it? You got to fuck Farouk. <laughs> As Beast? He does say that. And then he goes, no, we're just friends. We're just friends. No, we're just friends. All right, Drew. So fucking these guys are having a shittiest match ever here. So here we go. Savio Vega with the vertical suplex. NWO. 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 Dude. NWO. A guy in the front row pops his shirt up. He's wearing a shotgun Saturday Night shirt. He pops it up, and it has an NWO shirt underneath, and an NWO chant breaks out. I'm assuming they made him wear that shirt. Yeah, but they, they used they didn't to make... do that all the time back in the day. Put a put on the WF shirt. You can't wear the WCW <laughs> shirt. They did that to me, bro. <laughs> they did it to Jams every time he went to TNA at WWE. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's awesome. Dude, him pop on the top, he got a huge pop from the crowd. It was bigger than any pop in the match. <laughs> so all I've learned from Shotgun Saturday Night is ECW and WCW were whooping this company. They were ass. awesome. Yeah, they were yeah, way yeah. better. That's what the faxes were saying as well. <laughs> we are whooping your ass, Paulie. 
Dude, speaking of whooping ass, Savio gets pissed at one point and starts lighting Farouk up with chops, just fucking annihilating him. Sounded uh, loud as hell, too. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. Uh, Savio turns around in the corner at one point and smacks the dog shit out of Farouk. I don't know if it was in his face or what, but it looked like he fucked him up with a big style. Uh, and then Savio misses a stinger splash in the corner, and Farouk hits him with the main event spine buster for the win. At one Sorry, point, they did do an electric chair drop, which is kind of cool. They get him up for one. Oh, yeah, so they did do that. Savio, I think, did that to Farouk. On that yeah, concrete that was... ring you're talking about, that sounded nasty when he did that. Yeah, whatever. NWO. NWO. <laughs> NWO. <laughs> NWO. <Rezied> up. <laughs> You think like Pauly paid like his street team to go to these shows and just chat EC Dub? Easy Dude, it's dub. probably even better. EC to be fan just wanted to go do that. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You're They're right. riding just... for that company. Uh, it cuts over to Vince and Sonny, and Sonny is over here <laughs> dancing as Vince is talking about the home sex video. <laughs> yeah, pick up the phone and call somebody because it's time for the Sonny home sex video. I love he, how if, like if you called me <laughs> and told me this <laughs> shit, I would have said thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I'm gonna do that right now. I would have told you I, to go to I, hell. I ain't turning on shotgun Saturday. I'm watching WWE <laughs> Worldwide or Saturday. Yeah, hell yeah, I got snacks. <laughs> Iron Mike today, that's what? that boy, huh? Iron, Iron Mike today is crazy. Yeah. Iron, Iron Mike today, today. Scotty that's Hudson. Awesome name. You we're awesome rocking here on Saturday yeah. night. Yeah, we're here. I have no idea what I was talking about. Iron and Mike today. Yeah, let me go tell the NWO. Pick up the shotgun shit. For Sonny's home sex video, yeah. Call me, Tony, and tell me, man. Hell no. Why the fuck I care about this, man? I get to see Sonny ECW soon. You're gonna, yeah, you're right. She's crazy in ECW <laughs> yeah, too, fuck dude. This video, stupid shit. <laughs> but it's time for the Sunny Home Sex video. Sexy video. It's a sexy video. Sorry, yes. So we go to a shot of Sunny in a bedroom or what seems to be a bedroom. It is a room that has a bed in it. <laughs> and she says, "Good evening." <laughs> this is Welcome absurd. She does a YouTube my- intro. She does YouTube intro, you're right. She says, welcome to my layer of love. She's laying there holding Elmo. It's a little Tickle Me Elmo doll. You know, because Christmas I have my... just happened, right? Cause yes, this is January, season. so Christmas just passed. I have my favorite present of all here, Tickle Me Elmo. What this does is that the mean? Hottest, it's the hottest Christmas present this season, James. So you the hottest woman that. in the WWE have had to have one. It's her favorite present because it's hot, what? just like her, dumbass. So, yes. I'm going to, okay. Go on. So, did she, she recorded this at a requ- as a request? No. So that she just introed her own sex tape. So like yes. she tunes into her own sex tape. Well, you know, because Pamela and and Dad has sex tape. She's like, this is next level here. She's she, like going above and beyond yeah, for she's sexy show it videos. To the world. She's got it planned out. You know, she's got a script. Yeah, everything. this is like a plan. This is not a leak tape. Hey, this everybody, is her- sunny here uh, today. I'm going to be making love. <laughs> you guys like fuck, this kind of right? content? Remember to. <laughs> Record it on your me. other VCR. If we get a thousand <laughs> likes, I'll do another one. If we get a thousand faxes, I'll fuck <laughs> Elmer Fudd. <laughs> the hottest toy in a Christmas season. This the hottest cartoon rocket right now, and I will have Daffy Duck blow my shit out. <laughs> Sunny style, I like that. Oh. So remember to leave a comment. It really helps me out. Share with your friend. <laughs> Call your friends and let them know that I'm getting my fucking shit annihilated here on Shotgun Saturday Night. <laughs> please don't watch ECW. Please, God, don't watch oh. WCW, man. <laughs> I will fuck whoever it takes. Do not watch WCW. <laughs> If you if, if you if we get enough fags as Leghorn Foghorn will fucking beat my shit in. I'll leave it all the line for you guys to not watch the Eric Bischoff product. I'm begging you. Uh, Sonny says, "Who is the special man in my life that makes love to me each and every night? Is he someone tall, dark, and handsome? Maybe muscular? Well, you're about to meet him." And there's a knock at the door. This is like a planned skit, too. Dude, what is this? <laughs> so, knock on the door. You can see it in the reflection of the mirrors behind her. Here, in comes <laughs> life sized Elmo. Elmo walks into the room and says, Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a joke. It's like, it's like it's like Elmo. Elmo was not prepared or something. Not, like, not Elmo. Elmo. What? Not <laughs> Elmo, Elmo, is, Elmo, but it's Elmo the thong. <laughs> Elmo has underwear on. Dancing. Fortnite he's, move. He's thrusting. Fortnite move. Gyrating. Oh yeah, I've been bad, Sonny. <laughs> oh fucking. <laughs> Elmo crawls into bed and says, Finally, Elmo! 
I think he says Bondleby Elmo. Bondleby oh, Elmo. is that what he says? Yeah. Oh, you're right, because that's his name. Dude, it's, it it said goes, he goes, what a body, come here. And he goes, Bondleby Elmo. Sonny says, that's right. It's not Tickle Me Elmo. Who is she it's talking his- to? Who is it's, she talking to? It's his big, strong, bad, older brother, Fondle Me Elmo. You're all going to hell. <laughs> Everyone involved in this is going to hell. <laughs> this is cr- Fondle Me Elmo is here. It's a big fucking elmo with underwear on he's laying on the bed sunny removes elmo's underwear and elmo goes whoa (laughs) (laughs) Whoa! (laughs) elmo's on the bed but furry naked on the fucking bed sunny claps the lights go out and then you hear boy (laughs) 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 fucking elmo gets a fucking fucking hard on <laughs> not even 25 seconds later the lights come back on well they, you hear a bunch the of sound effects out. yeah a lot of sunny is moaning elmo is moaning you hear yyz elmo by saying, rush i think at one point <laughs> dead, dead, dead. <laughs> elmo says, you, you know you want me baby and then goes ah and then i guess he cummers all up in her shit and then the lights come back on <laughs> With what penis? <laughs> Covers in well, shit, raw dog style. That, <laughs> that, is, that is the issue here, James. Because the lights come back on after Elmo fucking splattles in her. And then <laughs> Elmo says, Wow, fondle me, Elmo. So sorry, I broke your trapeze. Is that what he's he supposed to do? Is- you know, like a, what? like a sex swing kind of thing, you know? They had one of those in there? Is that what it? they said? Trapeze. They said trapeze what yeah. did, hold on, now I need to know what you thought. I it thought said. he said ovaries. I'm like, damn, Elmo, like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> shattered. Shattered. ovaries? Jeez. Holy Holy shit. Shit. Oh, sorry. Elmo fucking... shattered your entire reproductive <laughs> system. <laughs> sorry. With my big Elmo cock. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like my little brother's little shitty dick. I have big, strong, fun on me elbow balls and cock for you. Elmo <laughs> 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 just gets more aggressive as as it goes on. Elmo was like, Elmo was fine, and then Elmo had sex, and then that was it for Elmo. He's a beast now. Elmo yeah, almost yeah. sounds like TK. Chad Elmo. What'd you say? <laughs> Why did you almost sound like TK? <laughs> Listen, there's only, so much, there's only so much I bitch I can do here. Dude, Elmo does not have the stamina to be with a woman of this caliber. Well, he fuck. She seemed very satisfied, James, and she had Which a great time. Which is absurd. Time Ninety-seven with. women were different. I don't know. Well, <laughs> this is crazy. He says, Sorry, I broke your ovaries. Uh, <laughs> Which and is Sonny insane. Says, Sonny says, "Don't worry about that. The Energizer Bunny's got nothing on you." And Elmo says, "I need a cigarette." So Elmo rolls over on her off the bed to retrieve a cigarette. And that's when he stands up and Sonny says, you're a madman. And Elmo says, I know, that's right. (laughs) And then Elmo, standing there, looks down at his crotch and says, Sonny, where's Funnel Me Elmo's pants? And Sonny says, I don't know. Bitch, you didn't come in here with pants. There was no pants on Elmo when he came in. (laughs) Just the thong. Just the thong. And then Elmo says, Sonny, where's Funnel Me Elmo's and then the boy yo yo sound goes off and I wrote question marks, a bunch of them. And then it cuts to, it zooms in on Sonny's face and she smiles and shrugs. Did like S- Sonny break Elmo's cock off in her he pussy? Lost it. It's gone, bro. <laughs> and then it cuts to the honky tonk man. You're all going to hell. <laughs> no! Uh, you, everyone involved in 97 WWF is going to hell. This no! is unbelievable. No! If you wrote this, you're done. You're done. Yeah, yeah. Whoever put this show together deserves you're to get done done today. You want to know who this put this crazy. together? Because I got the who put this together. The dirt. Sunny talked about it on her you shoot thing back in the day, and she said, uh, according to Sunny, this is the rumor. Todd Pentengale was the one dressed up as Elmo, which makes so much more sense. And now. it was filmed <laughs> in Todd's bed in his house, and what? Todd Pentengale's wife was the director. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, Sonny, Todd Pengel, Chad. And Sonny came up with a thong idea. She said it was funny, and they all had a good time doing it. So. It was funny. You're right. You should well, keep... you booked your one-way ticket. So, <laughs> to to East Hell. To East Suffering. <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. And this was... Please, I, everyone needs to know that that Sonny thing was the, like, the 
tune in next week thing. The on catalyst the first for episode. episode number two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was the fucking thing that advertised for the, this episode. That was the peak of this show to them. And they still had matches and a Honky Tonk Man sing-along coming up here. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, this has got to be the worst. I mean, this is got. I mean, they've done a lot of shitty shit. Yeah. <laughs> but this has got to be top five, top ten shittiest WWF moments of all time. The, wait, hold on. This next thing or the thing we just talked about? No, this next thing. Okay, I agree. I completely agree. This has got to be so devoid of any creative thought. May God have mercy on your soul. You've ruined wrestling. It's so not tapped into this crowd at all. They're chanting ECW and NWO. They have Todd Pettengill and the Honky Tonk Man. With microphones, and they're advertising. Vince You've, says, stay this is with already us, everybody. They, Vince is begging you to stay with us for this fucking segment. So we come back from commercial. Everyone surely did not stay here. But we come back from commercial, and they're still together here. And Todd Pentengill says, the Honky Tonk Man is ready to sing. And he's going crazy here, Todd. Doing his best to save this fucking no, shit. Todd is... By the way... Todd is the best. Todd has a microphone that you can hear. Honky Tonk Man, the guy that is meant to be what the segment is built around singing. You cannot understand him, and I also don't think he can hear the music. <laughs> no, his mic does not work, and I said it's probably for the best because he can't sing either. I think he's just a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't even write down what they were singing because I was so annoyed at what I was watching that I like I was physically angry <laughs> at this shit. I was like this sucks so bad. I can't even make fun of how shitty this was put I together. I mean Todd Pengill was going for it man. He was all in on this thing. He was singing his heart out here. He's but... good too. Good for in, him. In man. context to this show it's actually the worst thing ever <laughs> th because of the main event. So we had to have this yes. oh, instead fuck. of the main event. That, you Wrap it That's, up here. Wow. Don't say it yet, but yes. Yeah, but they, is, uh, they yes. chant ECW but, during this part also. They also do. Yes, but I think so. what Vince was like, his idea here was like, oh, we could do this live event in this bar. And then, we, you know, people do karaoke in bars. And like, that would be kind of the idea there. But it fucking sucked. It so didn't even say journey. This is also not live. So, like, they didn't have to do this. Honky Talk Med said that he would reveal every single Vince McMahon secret. That's ever existed. <laughs> if he dared to cut one single part of this segment, dude. So they they just fucking sing. They sing the shittiest song ever, and Honky Tonk Man is singing, and you can't hear him. He's out of tune, and he fucking sucks. Even when they and even then, they throw it to him, and they're like, "Oh yeah," because you could tell like Todd's yeah. got his thing, and then Honky's got the yeah, song. Yeah, Honky Tonk Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't even hear. You can't even hear. I'm Honky Tonk Man fucking... making them sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the sandwiches. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> You're and done. Then Dave You're done. Meltzer shows up and starts singing with them. What? I was just a fan here. What Who the it? fuck was? Yeah, that's what Vince. Uh, some fan is there with him, and he's outperforming the Honky Tonk Man. Cut the and fucking Todd, segment, Vince. Come on, man. Todd is singing more than the Honky Tonk Man. Some dude drinking a beer walks into the shot and gets dragged away and probably beaten. <laughs> <laughs> so and real. Then, and then the Honky Tonk Man just sings, and then the fucking segment is over. It's horrible. It's fucking horrible. Fuck you. Fucking <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> there is fucking no way they were ever gonna come back. Like, how does WWF expect to compete with WCW with this shit? What the fuck? There's no this way. Fuck you. There's a rocket. Eric Bischoff probably There's watched a... this. Eric Bischoff watched this segment here with the hardest cock of all time. He said, "I, I have got y'all fucked up, bro. You have no idea what you guys are fucking doing here. This you is are dead the to easiest me. shit I ever. Bro, we got the had... Macho Man. Fuck you." You had the sting, so with, sting with baseball bats coming down, beating up the entire NWO, like the coolest shit Dude, ever. Dude, NWO itself. It was like peak. The cruiserweights are rocking. We're in like peak sting versus NWO stuff in WCW at the time, and then they have this shit on the competition. There's Jim no Ross, way. Jim Ross said, we got the young shooters out here. Honky Tonk Man said, you go the fuck up. You yeah, wait a minute. I'm not going buddy. anywhere. Where am I going? Where am I going? 
I know fucking the context. Hell. I know in the context of you sure. know, it's, it's fucking shotgun. Say like, whatever. It don't matter. But no, it's, fuck your, This is the most ridiculous. Just because thing it's on seen. a shitty. Just because it's a uh, shotgun. Sorry. This is a show that, uh, in theory, it's their second episode. Surely they didn't want it to suck. No, but yeah. it sucked balls. Fuck. <laughs> Not Ew. even the cog. Just the balls. It's all oh, you thought, man's fault. To be honest. Well, don't worry. But here comes Rocky Maivia. You're done. <laughs> Rocky Maivia comes out and Honky Tonk Man <laughs> points at him aggressively as he walks by. And now it's time for Rocky Maivia versus, you guessed it, Razor Ramon. Not Razor uh, Ramon. <laughs> no entrance for Razor Ramon. Why would they disrespect uh, both of these guys here, Tony? <laughs> how do you go from the sex tape to that to the fake Razor, the fucking not- Fuck! I hate this we show! We don't care. We yeah. don't care. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Come on. We don't care. We don't care. Yeah, wh- what was not this? Not even a little bit. Is this January 11th? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they were rocking on dude. Yeah, y'all get your Hell ass yeah. with, bro. A free... It's 97, right? They yeah, had Eddie yeah. Guerrero versus Six and fucking for the United States title over here on fucking Hell Saturday yeah. night, bro. They were rocking. Eddie and Six on Saturday night? What the Yeah, hell? Bro, they had Diamond Dallas hell. Page and Bobby Eaton. They were... No, yeah, fuck you, man. I'm psychosis watching Psychosis fucking... and Lord Steven Regal. They were whooping your ass. You bro, were fucking I'm done, bro. I'm watching the Headbangers LWCW. You are done. That's <laughs> it, <laughs> man. Ladder they light. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy, man. WCW wow. should have won the war. I don't fucking care. Fuck you, WWE. Yeah, they had Rey Mysterio Jr. and Chavo going head to head over here, man. This is That's nuts. so sick. What the hell? Yeah, well, come on. Let's Anyways, talk about this Rocky, Rocky Maivia, Maivia, Maivia versus match. fake Razor Ramones up next. So, Rocky Maivia is throwing drop kicks as if he's trying to throw an enziguri. I'm fucking so confused at what he's doing here. It was startling to me. He debuted like uh, six months ago or something? Five or six he months debuted, ago? yeah, I think that's right. Prize Survivor Series 96. Is that right? Yeah, he is the so. ultimate goody two shoes, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They sucks. just had no idea what they had here, but they, they figure it out eventually. Well, I'm sure he figures it out. Somebody thankfully figures it out. They don't figure it out on Shotgun Saturday. They honky tonk, man. No way. Shahagi, well, they figure <laughs> out that they should fire the honky tonk man, which is great. <laughs> Eric said he's going to do that too. <laughs> I don't want to fire He wants to hire him just to fire him, is what he wanted to do. That's awesome. Him. I love that. Him. There's Razor Chance followed by We Want Hall Chance. I did hear that. We Want Hall. I wasn't sure if that <laughs> it took me forever. <laughs> it took me forever to hear We Want Hall, but yeah. And so do I. Uh, anyway, so do we. the honky tonk man is out here again. <laughs> Fuck you, go away. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I don't need to see this guy ever again in my life. I, uh, I, uh, Honky Tonk Man is here, baby. And we're back. <laughs> I got long sideburns and my hair slick back. I'm coming Dude, back. I just imagine, like, the, you know, the chart of the live ratings. Like, anytime Honky Tonk the they go up and then they go, Honky Tonk comes back. All ratings are up again. I get a bad. Hell yeah. The savior of fucking Saturday they Night. They call it, it a Shotgun draw, Saturday bro. Night because everyone wanted to take a shotgun to their face when they saw Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> Fuck. Go away. Fuck you, man. I'm long sideburns. I'm doing a dance. <laughs> no, I'm doing a dance. I'm doing a dance. Shitty blue suede shoes. Get the fuck out of our company. Yeah. He got Honky Tonk Man doing his little fucking dance. You got La Parker over there going crazy with the knees. <laughs> honky Tonk moves. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Rocky sucks. Rocky so sucks. Yeah. Rocky sucks, Chance. All the while, Vince is we saying, want, oh, Rocky heard. sucks. We want all. <laughs> Vince is on commentary, ignoring the match and saying he hears that Todd Pentengill is making his way as we speak to Times Square. Holy. Why? <laughs> Why? Dude, Rock, they were chanting, Rocky sucks and his fucking hope. He's like fighting back, trying to bring it back. <laughs> Rocky sucks. All right. <laughs> the fucking lights in the building go out. The fucking light guy is falling asleep during this yeah. shit, too. You got to watch the hockey top, man, for three hours, man. Todd Pengel just straight up left the building and they admitted it. <laughs> like, he just, he left he's out of here. Hockey top, man, will leave him alone. He's fucking pissed. Everybody's mad. Well, Razor goes for the Razor's edge, but Rock back body drops him. And then Rocky Maivia picks up Razor and hits him with his finishing move at the time. The shoulder breaker. Holy shit, is that like the you worst suck. finish of all time? That sucks. <laughs> Well, he wins with it, There's Bozo. There's no way he's getting over with that move. No way. You're going to hell with Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> Not only does he win the bat, but Ray- fake Razor kicks out at 3.1. Fuck you, Rocky Mighty. I hate your guts. He kicks out at 3.1, and Rock wins, and the crowd boos him. <laughs> Rocky Mighty is less over than fake Razor. Then they cut to the top end, Gil. Yeah. 
Can I just cut straight to Todd Pettigill, okay? I swear. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Rock doesn't even get to celebrate. They're already at Todd Pettigill in, in Times Square. Thank fuck this fucking guy. Thank you for a <laughs> <laughs> Hall and Nash win again. One more for the good guys. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Rick Bogner's not taking that shit, dude. That Fuck out of here. That wasn't even 3.1. That was like three and as fast as you could kick out. Yeah, it was. The ref knew they had to take it home. <laughs> it's just over. Dude, that's unreal. Ooh. They like, how did this even fly? This is insane, man. I what don't do you know. mean? <laughs> what are you? In, in what are you this? this is the real. It came in. This is the real Razor Ramon. You said Rocky beat him on the Saturday Night Tape Show with, with three the shoulder breaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, it's a fucking problem. Look, man, I'm not saying that Vince couldn't book shit out of an ass, but this is crazy. It's even funnier when you think about early in the show. Fake Diesel went 15 with Mark Merrow and won. <laughs> That's even. Mark Merrow's like a regular. <laughs> Mark Merrow was in storylines. Yeah, Mark Merrow's like over his shit here. This <laughs> guy was be... a side piece and he lost. To this is self sabotage. I think this Vince was trying to gotta... inject a lethal dose of poison early on in his career here. <laughs> so we are done. WCW is cooking us, man. I Damn. gotta get out of here. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be like the worst! <laughs> <laughs> well, they're running a free show for free fans on syndicated this television. This is gonna be the worst shit ever, man. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not over just yet. <laughs> Holy fuck, we gotta go down to Times Square. Don't don't forget about that with Todd Pengill. <laughs> yeah, it cuts immediately from Rock winning. 3.1, boo. Anyway, Todd Pengill's here in Times Square. <laughs> Todd Pentengill is here putting over a cardboard box better than fucking Rocky Maivia. Oh, <laughs> like Dick God. Clark out here, he says. <laughs> yeah, he says one of the hottest thing in New York is real estate, so they just make it here. It's the hardest thing ever to get here. He says, have you been inside one of these babies? He's like, it's like, it's just cardboard boxes set up for like a homeless guy. He says, you ever been inside one of these? They got a TV, they got jacuzzis. Let me give you a little tour. Uh, if your mother-in-law comes in, she stays right here and he pats it. And then Nikolai Volkov is in the box and he starts yelling in at Todd. Suit and then they, and hat. <laughs> suit and hat. And then they just go back to the arena. What so the So Nikolai Volkov is homeless? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Any, anyway, Doug Furness and Philip Lamar. No, are here. anyway, <laughs> next week, Goldust is pregnant. <laughs> How did this company not die? Dude, back at the Wait, arena. Somebody they, kill this fucking company already! <laughs> they showed Doug Furness and Philip LaFon in the ring. AC the Doug, headbangers. AC Doug, <laughs> AC Doug. <laughs> the headbangers music is playing, and Vince on commentary is saying, It's official. Gold dust is pregnant. <laughs> what the fuck? They show a magazine, Vanity Fair magazine cover of Goldust Pregnant, and they say next week Goldust will give birth live fake, here on Shotgun fake Saturday Night. Vanity Fair fucking yes. magazine. And Sonny says, Tune in next week. Fuck you, Rosie O'Donnell, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Don't worry about that <laughs> shitty ass show. Watch our shitty ass show. What the fuck is going on? A live birthing next week on Shotgun Saturday Night, exclusively here uh, from the Listen. Lenox Hill Hospital. This has got to yes. be What's he gotta the say? worst. Please. I mean, I have watched a lot of shit in my life, but this one takes the cake. There is, there is genuinely. And I don't even know, like, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to exaggerate to be funny. There is, I don't think there's one redeeming part of this show. Well, Goldust is pregnant. <laughs> Goldust is pregnant. It's confirmed. It's official. Oh, All right, shit. dog. You know, you know, you gotta be popping main event style, so let's get this rocking. I'm tuning in for that shit. Well, of course, man, our big main event here, Doug Furness <laughs> and Philip LaFont <laughs> against the Headbangers. Easy Dub! <laughs> Right, they were big Dude, ECW the, guys. The best part of this, Sonny puts over Doug Furness and Phil Lafon as being five time all Asian, all Japan tag champions. And she says, Vince, did you know that? And Vince says, Well, everybody here is having a good time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Everyone's having a good time. Okay. Everyone's having a great time. Here. Well, I guess the good an thing easy, here. Easy dub. Easy dub. I hear that. <laughs> Dude, the, the good thing here is that Doug Furness and Phil LaFont beat the fucking shit out of the headbangers. Fuck you guys, man. Yeah, Y'all gotta learn to work are, right now. They are working here. Uh, there's an ECW chant. Thrasher is yelling at the crowd because he knows that ECW is he's, so he's, sweet sucks, at this time, too. Sucks, sucks. Yeah. Vince is talking about Fondle Me Elmo in commentary. Sonny says Fondle Me Elmo is a handful. Well, she ripped his cock off, so I don't know anymore. Uh, Vince says the headbangers are taking place of the Sister of Loves who were arrested for solicitation on 42nd Street. Uh, Bad idea. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking crazy. So, Furnace takes an Irish whip in his match. Thrasher kicks him in the back. Mosh Dude. then, I guess, Dude. like, Mosh was like, why are you selling? Why are you selling? So he sells this kick to the back and Mosh throws a line and it's fucked up, man. He didn't know. He didn't know he was going to sell. He fucked it all up. Now Phil LaFon's on the apron across the ring yelling, what are you blind, ref? What are what you are blind? You blind? <laughs> yeah. There's fucking five of them. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Justice pain. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you tired, hey, man! Go. No! <laughs> gold dust! I thought gold dust was pregnant! Jesus! <laughs> you fucked up! You fucked up! Yeah. Oh. That's how I knew the main event was rocking. When I heard that you fucked up, Chance, I said, finally, man, we were rocking out here. So we go to commercial, we come back. Todd Pettengill is outside the building. There is a main event you match can, going you on. Can and hear. Todd, you can hear the match you going can hear the on. Match. Yeah. Yes! The match is going on. You can hear them bumping. Todd Pettengill is outside screaming at some guy. He says, whoa, look at this guy. He's got a Michael Jackson mask on. There's a main event going on. Dude, Todd Pettengill they... grabbed this fucking guy and pulled him over. He said, look at this guy. He's got look a Michael Jackson Michael... mask on. Look at this fucking Michael Jackson mask on. Leave me alone. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> Dude. He said, anyway, next week we're going to be at the fucking Denim and Diamonds, uh, and they're going to be line dancing and playing pool. Goldust will give birth. Anyway, here's the main event. Anyway, oh whatever. Who God. cares? Uh, Philip LaFont invents the TNA kick on Mosh and misses it by a mile. Then he hits an awesome senton that crushes Mosh, and he dies. He's kicking he the headbanger's asses. <laughs> Dude, huge float over DDT that looked fucking awesome. Dude, it was a awesome. hip toss reversal DDT. It was oh crazy. It was, yeah, awesome. it was so sick. sick. Two count on that. Wide shot of them brawling. And Vince says, well, it looks like we're running out of time here, ladies and gentlemen. I said, there's no fucking way. This is impossible. He says, well, looks like we might be running out of time here. Uh, we'll show you the ending of this matchup next week when we see you live from San Antonio, Texas. And the fucking the fucking show ends. The fucking show ends without showing the fucking finish. Oh. Of it. I didn't even care about this fucking match. I didn't care about Give it, but finish. it's the fucking principal, man. Give us it's the a principal. finish of a match. You fuckers. You you fucking honky tonk man! I saw seventeen <laughs> minutes of honky tonk man on this show, and I can't see Philip Lafon and fucking Dude. take the the fucking stage dive. Just do the stage dive on him and let me fucking Diesel see didn't it. Need to go you bitch! Diesel didn't need to go fifteen minutes. Fake Diesel. Ten minutes of heat, and then he did the jackknife, <laughs> and I can't see the stage dive on the end of this fucking show. I watched Sonny get her shit blown out by <laughs> fuck me Elmo, and I can't see the fucking finish of this tag match, you bastard! I'm fucking on you, Saturn! Damn it, dude! Holy shit! Free wrestling on syndicated Sucks. television. <laughs> You what know what's crazy is if Savage was still around, he would have been in the honky tonk spot, and it would have been a lot better. It would have been fun. I, genuinely, honky tonk kind of just took that spot over where Savage was right. hanging out. Uh, he was getting paid, and he didn't care. Yeah, this is an experience. How the first episode to this episode is insane. Like the first episode was like car crash. Like, yeah. uh, all right, this is cool. Like, all right, I'll watch this. this is fucking stupid. This show is like Vince McMahon shitted out of his ass into his own mouth. Dude, <laughs> Vince McMahon couldn't book shit out of his own ass. Are you kidding this me, man? Is crazy, this is dude. absurd. What a show. If you have not watched this, you don't. Don't, <laughs> don't watch it ever. Do not, don't do that to yourself. And don't do that to yourself. Watch WCW. <laughs> Please watch WCW. Watch ECW. ECW was about to go on pay per view. Fucking Furnace and Lafon were there too. <laughs> they were yeah, you're ass. right. They're probably kicking fucking shit in. Yeah, so. Well, there you go. That was 
Shotgun Saturday Night, the second episode ever, and boy, oh boy, did it suck dick and balls. And <laughs>